So today we're doing an experiment based on the concept of stoichiometry, but it also builds on the precipitation reaction experiment we did. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is set up what's called a vacuum filtration apparatus. So we need to put this heavy vacuum hose on the vacuum outlet. Make sure if you're in a lab that has multiple, like we have gas, vacuum, and air, make sure you're hooking it up to the right one. Other thing you want to be very careful of is make sure there's not tension in this because other it can knock this over. If it if you can't get the tension out of it, just have somebody hold it while you're working with it. Next thing we'll need is an actual funnel. This is called a Buchner funnel. There's a little vacuum adapter that helps seal the vacuum a little better. That doesn't it just kind of sits on. Doesn't you don't wedge it down or anything. And then we're going to need a filter paper to actually filter out the precipitate we're making. We do need the mass of the filter paper before we put it into our setup. Um, I've already went ahead and measured that out and it was 0.56 grams. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that in. So now that our apparatus is set up, we can go ahead and turn it on and actually start getting to our reaction. So we turn the vacuum hose forward and you can already hear it if you're here in person, I don't know if it'll come through on the video. You can hear it sucking the air in. Um, to really complete the seal, what you want to do is take a DI wash bottle and spray down your filter paper and let it suck the water through the filter, which just helps complete the seal. Again, if you were here in person, there's actually a sound change you hear as it does this. Um, and now you can see if I lift this up, that vacuum is, is completed. It's sealed up now. So. What we're going to be doing is mixing some of the things we use for a precipitation experiment, potassium chloride and silver nitrate. Very, very important. Use different glassware for each chemical. If you start trying to measure them out in the same graduated cylinder, you'll get the reaction in your graduated cylinder, which will drastically mess up your volumes. So we need about 70 milliliters of potassium chloride. As always, record the exact volume that you're using. There we go. It's a little low, but 68.0. Go. Now we're going to do the same thing, except we need about 100 milliliters of silver nitrate. Because this is a 100 milliliter graduated cylinder, be careful that you don't overfill it. So you might have a little less than 100 milliliters or right at 100 milliliters, but you don't want to overfill. Your graduated cylinder. That's about 98.3. So now that we've measured both of these out, we're gonna mix them together, hopefully get a precipitation reaction, which is what we saw in the precipitation experiment. We're gonna mix these together. We should get a precipitation. There it is. So these two clear solutions have now made this cloudy white precipitate, but what we really want is that solid out of our solution. So we need to filter it through our vacuum filtration apparatus. To get the maximum vacuum and airflow through this, we want to spread our precipitate out as much as we can on the filter paper and not just stack it up in the center. Uh, but if you get it too close to the edges, it might escape under and end up down in the bottom of your filter flask. Oops. And so what we're going to do is just let this filter through for about 20 minutes. As we can see, we have gotten some of our precipitate down here. Um, 
if we really wanted to be analytically correct with all of this, we can go through and filter this multiple times till, until we recover all of this. But for the purposes of this class and this experiment, what we have up here is enough to, to do the math with. Um, it's already pulled most of the water through, but we want to keep pulling any water stuck inside that solid out. And so we're going to leave it on for about 20 minutes. So once our precipitate is dry, and we're going to go ahead and try and get its mass, first thing we need to do is turn the vacuum off. None of that work, none of this works, the vacuum's still on. Next thing we wanna do is release that vacuum. So sometimes it'll do it on its own, and I can lift this out. Sometimes you may need to, to break that seal a little bit so that you can get your funnel off. Um, a lot of these funnels are nice because they actually, the top half comes off as well. Take that off to really get to our precipitate out of there. So we want to try and just bend that paper up. And now that we've retrieved our precipitate that should be hopefully fairly dry, we can go get its mass and then continue on with all of the stoichiometric calculations to get our percent yield.